Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Step Campus. In this video, we are going to discuss about the T12 track. So this video will be going a single video. Okay, in the single video, you will get all the information related to the track T12. Okay, so what topics we are going to cover in this video? So you can see on this screen. First, we are going to talk about the I Evolve dashboard. Okay, how our I uh, dashboard has been changed during the May cycle. Okay. Now T12 syllabus we will going to see uh, the MCQ and the hands on. Third one we are going to see the new uh, new pro environment. Okay, so this new pro environment is a virtual machine where uh, we have to give the assessment. Okay, and the one five two zero five course ID. Okay, so let's get started. So first we will see the I evolve dashboard. So you can see a sample dashboard on your screen. So in the same way this should be reflected in your screen as well. Yeah. Either it is complete or not complete, that is a different part, but the section will be the same. Okay. So now, so first we will see the prerequisite. Okay. So prerequisite have two main courses. The first one is domain courses, and another one is articulation. Okay. So how to get yellow star in domain? If you are not getting a yellow star, okay, this yellow star, if you are not getting, it means your domain is not completed. So first you have to complete your domain learning. So how to complete your domain learning? So you have to go to this course ID. The course ID is seven eight one eight eight. So you have to go to this course ID, and then you have to launch this course ID and give your assessment. So why I am focusing on this particular course ID because this particular course ID have single assessment only. Because if you go to the domain learning now, so you will get many courses. Okay. Multiple courses and multiple assessment are there, so you will get confused like which courses I have to choose for this particular domain. So either going to this confusion part, what I will, uh, what I am suggesting, you have to uh, search this course ID, okay, and then you have to give your assessment. And the uh, more important part is this assessment link also you can, or you can say assessment video also you can get in this channel itself. So you have to go to this uh, channel first, okay. You have to search this. Uh, Course ID there in the channel. You have to get the answer, and then you have to attempt for the domain learning. Okay. So once you complete the domain assessment, okay, then after few, uh, you can say hours or you can say twenty four hours. So the domain learning will come uh, so showing as start. Okay. Then it means it is completed. Okay. Now another section that is articulation. So see articulation like either we have to achieve a uh, pass or we have to get instruction to. So the star here. So many of you are asking questions like, "I am not getting any star here." So you will not get any star. Even you completed the courses that is present inside one five two zero five course. If you completed all the courses, okay, inside this course ID, even you are not going that star. You will only get star once you appear for the assessment. Okay, that will be held uh, in the November cycle, or you already uh, have given. So, so once you Pass or get distinction in articulation, then only you will get this star here. So just remember this one. Okay. So I hope this is also clear. And one more thing. So domain learning and articulation, these two are prerequisite. So you must complete this one. Either you can get pass or distinction in articulation. Okay. But you have to complete. Okay. Yeah. I am again repeating. Completing the articulation course inside one five two zero five will not give any star here. Okay. To get a star, you have to appear in the assessment, which will be on Ion Center. Okay. Now, we will move to the step one. Okay. So step one is written core full stack. So we have multiple core full stack in one five two zero five course ID. Okay. So you have to choose any course because I am making this video for a specific T twelve track. So I will focus the T twelve track one. So suppose you are choosing T twelve. One five two zero five course, okay, and you have completed all the courses inside this one five two zero five. Still, you won't get a star here because the same applies here also as applying in articulation. The same thing applies here. So the star or this one, okay, either green, will show here only when you complete your uh, main assessment, okay, T twelve main assessment on the uh, Ion Center, okay. So, because I am not completed, I haven't completed the T12 track. I only got a pass. You can see this is a pass. I will tell you why it is not showing pass here. Why it is coming here? I will show you that one also. Okay. 
but just remember like if you got pass also na so this one will not be completed so for completing this one you have to achieve distinction okay you have to achieve distinction okay once you have achieved distinction then it will be a green or you can say it will populate a star that way that way that uh, we will see later not an issue okay so we ha you have to complete a uh, distinction you have to got a distinction in any core full stack to appear a star here okay so this is related to the step 1 now step 2 so in step 2 we have four section okay first one is business so business uh, either you can achieve digital sorry either you can achieve uh, distinction or pass okay and this another is process same thing either you can achieve pass or distinction core full stack see uh, you can see this screen right so in this uh, image you will see like for getting digital okay sorry my bad yeah for getting digital either you can choose two track okay suppose you are choosing one track that is t12 track and one track suppose t13 track okay so in t12 suppose you got distinction and in t13 you got pass so you will become digital okay by taking two technical tracks also you can become digital okay but yeah this is mandatory domain and articulation must be completed then this uh, two tracks will uh, apply okay then you no need to get a uh, business process or uni any unit electric okay so for example i have chosen the t12 and t13 okay so i achieve t12 as a distinction and t13 as a pass so the pass will show here and the distinction will show here so combining both two okay i will become digital okay but in my case what happened most of you have also got this one like right? you got pass in t12 but it is not showing here this step is not completed why not completed as i told you you must get distinction okay to tick here because i got only pass so the completion shifted to this one because already i told you uh, what the system is doing na see i got pass right so it's showing here now again i will choose the same path or you can say uh, same track suppose i am choosing a normal upcoming normal cycle as a t12 track okay this time i write the paper i will write the paper and suppose i got distinction okay so this step will get tick and this pass will move to this part as a star okay this pass will move here as a star and this path will tick okay and this tick will also remain for me because i completed the business okay another track also for like see anyone you have to complete from here right so as of now two showing completed for me because i i got a pass here okay so i got a pass it means like it uh, completing here one uh, not completing here it sended the completion part in the step 2 because they have a different combinations also like one pass and one distinction that's why they have given here so i have now two option either i can go with some another track okay and achieve distinction then also i will become digital by this combination and this combination okay that's why they have given pass here if not suppose i am not confident about any other track i will need another t12 so again i will choose t12 track okay i will i will write the exam and if i got distinction so this pass will uh, shifted here okay and it become distinction because i uh, got the distinction okay if you didn't pass in this one also not an issue if you give the fresh exam in the upcoming november cycle and if you got star it means you will become digital directly okay so first completed second completed now third one third one i have completed business okay maybe like you some of you have completed process or you are going to write the unit electives okay see so more unit electives uh, i am not aware because some little bit i uh, only i know so i i i want to give you the false information but whatever i know i will tell you so suppose if you are taking unit electives the first point you have to remember like the unit electives must contains the unit td provided like what your unit td have given the list that courses only you have to choose okay 
यू कॉन्ट चूज एनी अदर कोर्सेज बाई योर ऑन फर्स्ट थिंग सेकेंड थिंग ओके सो यूनिट इलेक्ट्रिक सपोज यू गॉट एक्सटर्नल सर्टिफिकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम गिविंग गूगल एसोसिएट क्लाउड इंजीनियर एग्जाम फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो फ्रॉम गूगल आई गॉट दैट एग्जाम लाइक आई कम्प्लीटेड दैट वन बट इन टी सी एस अगेन दे विल कंडक्ट वन एग्जाम फॉर गूगल एसोसिएट क्लाउड एंड यू हैव टू पास देयर ओके वाट दे आर फॉलोइंग बिफोर आई एम नॉट लाइक नो लाइक वाट दे आर गोइंग टू डू इन द नॉम्बर साइकिल दे आर गोइंग टू टेक एनी एक्सटर्नल एग्जाम अगेन और दे आर हैप्पी विद द Uh, external exam only, so I am not aware about this one. But yeah, if you are taking unit electives, so if you are going to take unit electives in upcoming November cycle, so please just know this uh, idea from your TD first before choosing, okay? Because for unit electives you have to pay, okay? Either you have to pay or you have to complete the courses to get the voucher, free voucher, okay? But yeah, in uh, both of the case, like you have to give unit elective in the TCS. What I know, but yeah, just go and. Talk to your unit TD before choosing this unit elective. Okay, so I hope these things are clear to you guys. Yeah, maybe like this video is very big, but yeah, definitely I have to give you the full information. That's why I'm explaining these things to you. Now, suppose you are already digital, okay? You are already digital, but this are not locked for you, unlocked for you. Most of you uh, are not unlocked this uh, list. So why not now? Because see, articulation you passed right, but you have to get a distinction to. so here you are digital but for innovator if you are going so you have to get distinction in articulation distinction is business distinction is process okay and uh, also uh, you can say innovator coding channel you have to uh, distinction go distinction okay so for this also you have to get star 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 okay that's why it is not showing for you as of now so i hope this is clear to you all okay now move to the third slide Okay, so now we will see about T twelve syllabus. So T twelve syllabus contains two part. One is MCQ and another one is hands on. Okay, so first one MCQ. First you have to appear in MCQ. So up by uh, to appear in MCQ, you definitely you have to complete all the courses of T twelve track, which is present inside one five two zero five course ID. Okay, and this MCQ uh, exam once you pass the exam. Okay, then you will get a, a hands-on exam. Then you will get a hall ticket to write the hands-on. Okay, MCQ will be on uh, like MCQ will held in Ion Center and hands-on will uh, in your TCS office. Okay, whatever your branch, uh, base location in the base location you will have to write the hands-on. Now, the syllabus we will see. So for selen uh, MCQ, if you talk about first one is selenium, another one night watch, and then cucumber. so these three whole complete uh, knowledge you should have to write this mcq okay apart from this one what they have asked in may cycle automation and manual testing concepts like system testing integration testing performance testing so these all are related to the manual testing okay automation testing related questions also they will ask because this automation testing means like this selenium nitrous and cucumber itself okay and mostly you have to focus on the selenium okay like you have to focus in all but yeah for to write a uh, exam for the selenium or if you want to attempt 100% question for the mcq uh, in selenium you have to go the syntax so syntax you should remember all syntax okay whatever the elements present in the selenium you should know the syntax of all definitely i will create one video i am planning to uh, come with a video with uh, all these topics yeah so but yeah i'm just letting you the syllabus so yeah these are the syllabus for the mcq now hands on so hands on uh, we have three topics uh, basically selenium cucumber and night watch but night watch they are not asking they are only focusing on selenium plus cucumber complete end to end test okay so complete end to end testing means like uh, you have to write the code for a selenium okay and so you have to write the feature file okay and then you have to link this feature file with this selenium code okay and then you have to uh, change some do some changes on the runner file to run the script okay and also have you have to uh, generate a report so all this uh, hands on related uh, video you will get on this channel itself okay refer hands on video in the channel for more information okay so now we will see first 15205 course details then we will go with the new pro environment okay see 15205 courses so they are asking us to complete the courses okay for 15205 by september 10 
September 10th means like if you are not choosing any specific like suppose uh, T12 is not a specific domain for your specific unit and if you are choosing this one so for this number cycle as I already uh, discussed in the previous my previous video so you can choose any tech track for this number cycle this is exception so no any sp domain specific uh, condition is applying in the number cycle okay but after number cycle you have to uh, choose that courses which will be from your unit approved okay so for this one like i am just saying you like suppose uh, you are you are uh, you you are not getting a, like you are just uh, appearing for the t12 for example okay and you don't know like this is for you, your specific unit or not okay so what you have to do now so for this number cycle you can write the exam the condition is like you have to complete that course suppose you are taking t12 so you have to complete the 15205 t12 track okay so you will get path 1 path uh, path 2 so any path you can complete by your uh, end okay so these are the course ID also so you can search this course ID not an issue so if you go to IEVAL so whatever course ID you will get just copy this course ID you know YouTube okay and write the step campus you will get uh, every video note. okay now the last part we will see the new pro environment actually what happening now so they are asking us to uh, give the hands-on in new pro environment uh, new pro like uh, don't go basic technically about this one only this is you can say it's a virtual machine because in normal environment they don't have a setup because you already know like selenium required selenium and many other uh, dependency you require to run the selenium right in your uh, system because they are uh, because our TCS uh, system is not uh, like basically focusing on the selenium part and all so they are just taking all the uh, exam in some environment okay so they have chosen the new pro environment so i i can't see uh, show you the actual new pro but yeah i will let you know like how you have to handle the hands on in this new, uh, new pro environment because what happened now in previous cycle they have mentioned like we have to go with the new pro environment and any documents if you open in new pro environment then you will be disqualified okay you can only open selenium documentation but also not in the new pro environment in the tcs environment only okay so i will show you example so for example suppose chrome is a normal environment your tcs tcs environment okay and suppose uh, this is a uh, new pro environment uh, edge okay you have a browser edge suppose uh, i am taking a browser here but you will get another system okay so, uh, one uh, system you will get there system means like in your TCS uh, laptop only you will uh, uh, once you click on a link then you will land on a system in a new pro environment okay so for showing you I am just taking a demo like suppose Google Chrome as a normal environment your TCS machine and as is a new pro environment so how to handle these two see so first I am in TCS machine okay so what I have to do I have to open all the document here okay suppose I am going to write the hands on so I am the, this is my TCS system Chrome is my TCS system for example so what I will do support I have to open the ultimatic so I will open ultimatic here I will go to the particular uh, course ID to write my hands on all the things I will do here okay even I have to open the selenium document I will open selenium documentation here itself in the TCS machine okay and I will show you this is my this is my uh, new pro environment so in this new pro environment only you have to write your test cases they will provide you visual studio already you can see in the channel uh, the uh, the interface which we are giving hands on uh, that is a new pro environment only okay so all the things they have they will give you there only but if you want to search anything so you no need to open anything here like plus air new tab you no need to write anything because if you open any external document here you will be disqualified okay but they have also suggested us to we can use selenium documentation so where we have to uh, open the selenium documentation so for this one we have to go our tcs machine okay so now chrome is my tcs machine for example as i already told you so i will open here selenium documentation okay selenium documentation i evolve whatever you want to open you can open here itself okay okay and in new uh, new pro you have to only open like once you click okay i will tell you so suppose you are here okay if you if you click suppose uh, it's a link here it's a link here and in this link you have to uh, you have to write the exam hands on so once you click here you already uh, went to the new pro environment 
okay now you are in new environment so what you have to go you have to minimize this one okay you have to minimize this one and then you have to come to this one again if you want to go to a new pro so from the browser you can go there okay so like this way you have to pop up pop up the uh, you can say environment okay so whatever i have to write whatever documents i have to open i will open in the normal tcs system and one more thing suppose you have opened this for selenium documentation okay i will i will tell you one thing what suppose you are not getting like how to uh, how to handle drop down so you can search here okay you can search here drop down this is allowed okay search here drop down so you will get the code okay like how to handle not code but yeah you will get like how we can uh, use the select command to select the drop down so basic things you can get okay but again don't copy and paste there okay you can see here you can write from your end okay otherwise it won't paste uh, if you copy also it won't paste there but yeah avoid uh, control c control v there okay so you can see here like they have given the command so this all the things i have opening in tcs machine only and in new repo environment i only write the code nothing else nothing even i won't open any new table so okay because if you do any mistake they will disqualify you and one more thing uh, like if you are getting any uh, assessment to do so don't go and write any true equals to false or false to like you know what i am going to tell you right so the true false inside the file you no need to change anything anything means and in anything you can't able to change change you can change it but yeah it not advisable okay if you change anything then you, you will be disqualified so whatever your answer just be at that point only no need to change anything okay so i hope these things are clear to you guys okay like i already told you many things about the environment also but still if you have any doubt then then uh, comment and and then join with uh, with me in a telegram we will discuss there so thank you guys and wish you all the best for your upcoming exam uh, we will meet you in the next lecture thank you bye bye